Let's move to this story now. The city of Cape Town's main crematorium in Maitland is not accepting any more bodies until the 14th of September. That's because the facility is full, partially as a result of an increase in COVID-19 related deaths. The city says there's no crisis just yet. It's working around the clock to alleviate the backlog. NCS Monique Mortlock has the details. There has been a spike in cremations in Cape Town over the past few weeks. Last week, 264 bodies were cremated. The week before, it was 166. The city of Cape Town says more people are opting for cremation rather than natural burials, which it's encouraging due to the limited space in cemeteries. And officials insist the Maitland crematorium can cope with the demand. There is no crisis that is being reported at the moment. The city has adjusted its operating hours. We now cremate 24 hours a day for seven days a week. We also rely on the private industry to support us in terms of cremation efforts, should there be a need uh, to do so. But on average, if all things are in order, paperwork, payments, etc., you should be able to collect ashes at least three days after the cremation is being done. But some undertakers have told ENCA lately the wait for ashes has been longer than normal. I get well so about say om and by three weeks ago I had a verassingsdienst gehad. And weer eens was ik in the beginning of the position where I net net bieke meer as twee weeks gewag het vir vir my as. The city says there are various reasons for the delays. Payment to the undertaker, the undertaker then needing to make the necessary payment to the cremation facility. If there's a slow pace in that process, there's then obviously a delay. But also we see a delay in the necessary paperwork, either from a hospital or health institution or from the Department of Home Affairs, and so that causes an additional delay. The city says undertakers who can't wait very long can make bookings at the Durbanville Crematorium, a private facility, while it works on clearing the backlog in Maitland. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.